Hello guys, welcome to JD Bots. This is the bot series on Rasa. And today we are going to start this series with a detailed tutorial for every beginner who would like to start on Rasa Pro. So let's get started. Uh, for someone who don't know what Rasa is, Rasa is an enterprise grade AI platform that helps you create AI agents and assistants. This is their official website, rasa.com. And we build these agents and assistants in Python programming language. It has two products, Rasa Pro and Studio. Rasa Pro is the extension of Rasa open source having the capabilities of conversational AI and uh, large language models that is now part of Rasa Pro. It also has a local no code platform which is called as Rasa Studio. We are going to explore Rasa Pro in this tutorial series. And today, We'll start with some introduction and as well as install Rasa on our machine. Okay. Here is just an overview of what you can build with Rasa. So here is few examples. I lost my wallet. Do you want to freeze your account, card or cancel it? Okay. These are some of the questions. Would you like to add? anything else to your order i have spent too much already then can i interest you in next day shipping for so and so i want to pay my credit card bill do you want to pay the whole balance of 3421 how much do i have in my account and so on basically uh, by looking at this conversation you must have gotten an idea that with the help of natural language you can perform any action okay behind the scene these large language models which is also called as llms are run previously rasa open source or you can say rasa 2.x was purely based on intent based conversational ai but after the advancement of large language models it has moved to rasa pro and there we have a complete integration of large language model into rasa open source okay so we are not going to go with the legacy version of rasa that is rasa open source we are going to start with rasa pro okay and it also has this real-time voice assistant that can take action you can go and watch these videos if you want okay so by giving the platform introduction i already gave an overview it has two products rasa studio and rasa pro rasa studio is a no code low code platform and rasa pro is a command line interface for developers and you can build these assistants uh, maybe in your preferred ide you'll use visual studio code for this development okay and here are some of the capabilities or the things you can do on rasa pro customize ai pipeline build integrations run automated tests develop custom components okay and yeah so this is the main product of rasa pro calm uh, which is having the full form i think somewhere here concept clm yeah conversational ai with language models okay so this has been integrated with rasa open source to call this rasa pro okay first thing first let's get a rasa pro license you can get a free developer edition license for rasa pro so let's start by getting that you can request the license here okay so let's enter our email address
okay and submit hmm i have to select this <laughs> that's strange usually big companies they do not uh, they make this as optional of sending uh, communication but that's fine okay please check your email let's do that okay we have an email and there is our license key perfect so we have got a license key for rasa pro developer edition okay and going back uh, by the way let me show you one more thing uh, what contains rasa pro so rasa pro developer edition contains you can run it on locally on your laptop computer deploy it uh, to a development staging a production server this license is free and valid up to 1000 conversations per month so you can deploy as a production if you are having 1000 conversations per month and 100 if you if used by your employees okay ah okay so if i am a single user i can have 1000 conversation per month and if it is used by our employees then it will be 100 conversations per month and you can find all the license terms here okay you can go through that i'm not getting into details okay so we have got lasa pro license key and navigate to our quick start repository on github click on code and then create code space on main okay and okay so it is getting started with the quick start repository basically it will open up in code spaces where i have a uh, environment ready for me and i can just uh, get started with the development i don't need uh, to set up my development environment like installing python installing rasa and other libraries so if you want to get started with that you can okay so instead of that i'm going to rasa pro documentation and here this we have all read it and understood that rasa pro extend rasa open source with conversational ai with language models okay and yeah so let's start with the installation okay so installation overview you need a license that is rasa pro license key and you need llm provider api key supported llm providers let's see uh, if azure is supported then we are going to use that let me see llm configuration llm providers i just want to see who all are the providers okay open ai is one and azure open ai perfect so i'm going to go with azure open ai as my llm provider and i already have its api key so we are good here so both the things we have if you want to go with different llm provider you can see the list of all the llm providers they have and you can choose one of them okay perfect so we have the rasa pro license and we have the llm provider key perfect if you want to get started with the github uh, that uh, source code i think that they gave it earlier uh, with the github code spaces no installation required everything you can go with okay you need a python and you can also get started with docker as well who prefer dockers they can go with docker for their development but i'm gonna go with python and on my local machine okay this too i'm going to get started with so if you are preferring python stay with me if you are preferring docker you can move to the next step we will not explore that we'll only stay with python okay first thing first let's see the python version we have i'll open vs code and i'm gonna create a new folder rasa pro okay 
perfect i have my workspace i have my folder rasa pro i'll go to terminal add a new terminal and let's see the python version i have python 3 version so i have the latest version 3.13.2 but rasa supports 3.9 3.10 and 3.11 okay uh, let me also check the pip version i have okay pip 24.0 from rasa 3.11 okay if these packages are already installed these commands should display version number so i have python i have pip already installed and i can see the version but i have the python 3.13.2 which is not supported by rasa but i also have other versions of python installed in this developer machine the thing is when i create a virtual environment in my workspace i'll choose 3.11 but for now it is showing me 313 but that's fine i'll choose 3.11 while creating a virtual environment okay next based on your operating system you can install python and pip since we have already installed i will skip this part but if you don't have python and pip installed i would suggest go through this based on your operating system okay now coming to virtual environment setup okay it's a isolated environment for developing your python projects it does not affect your other projects or your operating system okay it's all the files all the packages that you install stays in this virtual environment okay so based on your operating system again they have mentioned the steps to create a virtual environment uh, since I'm using Mac OS, I'll prefer this. And I'll not go ahead with these options. Instead, I'll use the user interface of VS Code to create a virtual environment for me. So I'll use VS Code's inbuilt capability to create my virtual environment. First, let's click on View on VS Code, click on Command Palette. And there you will see Python create environment. If you don't find, you can search as well Python. This will only come if you have Python installed on your machine. If you don't have Python installed, go, go through the previous steps here, installing the Python based on your operating system. And then come back to VS Code and create a new environment. So here, just select this option you have two choices the environment type venv and quanda i always prefer venv uh, so if you have your preference on quanda you can select that but i always go with venv here as i said earlier i have other versions of python installed in this machine so during the creation of my virtual environment i'll choose this 3.11.11 .11. let me double confirm okay it only has 3.11 so i can choose any version under 3.11 okay so i'm going to go with the latest 3.11.11 .11. and now my virtual environment will be created on that version perfect to confirm your virtual environment has been created look for this particular folder dot venv if you have used this right these commands to create a virtual environment then whatever name you give it here based on that name only your new virtual environment will be getting created it's not necessarily that you use the same name it's your choice by default this is a name we are using okay and that's the first indication you have a folder dot venv and on the terminal side if you add a new terminal there you'll see this dot venv appearing on the path left side of the path that confirms that your environment has been activated 
there are two things creating the environment and second activating the environment you have two commands over here creating the environment and then activating that environment for windows it will be batch file for mac os i'm not sure uh, i never i tried this but it was long time back uh, I mostly prefer VS Code for virtual environment setup. Okay. All right. So next, we're going to install Rasa Pro. Let's see. Before that, let me check the Python version. Hopefully, uh, I should point to 3.11. There you see. So once you have created the virtual environment, based on the python version you will see the python version appearing so previously it was 313 now it is showing me 311 because i created the virtual environment in this python installation okay now coming to the next command installation of rasa pro let's see This is the first time I'm, ins I'm installing Rasa and I'll be learning along with you because Rasa is getting very hyped uh, with the introduction of their large language uh, capabilities, AI capabilities. So I'm learning along with you. Uh, if any mistakes, uh, forgive me. Let's see. I'm not sure how much time it takes for this to get installed. The good part about virtual environment, all the installation stays under one folder. That's a good part. If you have a good internet speed, then this process would be taking much lesser time. Okay, so it's installing Rasa Pro, Keras. I heard of it, but never used it. Then Rasa SDK, then TensorFlow. Okay. I have a slower internet speed, so it's taking more time for me. That completes our Rasa Pro installation. Okay, coming back here to the documentation. Next, you can significantly speed up installation process with the UV package manager. Pip install UV, install Rasa. Okay, since we already installed, we know it, no, we not we did we do not need to use this package. Well, I saw just now. Um, but yeah, we use pip install rasa pro, so we did not run this. Okay, go next. Uh, if you prefer Docker. These are your steps. I will skip this. This we have not done yet, right? So try Rasa Pro. Okay. I think uh, this is all. I think this video should be sufficient. In our next video, we're going to try this one Rasa Pro tutorial. And yeah, that is all. Thanks everyone. See you in the next video.